Hey, so quick video really. I just created some of these Laboo's and um, I decided to actually use them as a fridge magnet. The STL file itself didn't come with the ability to turn it into a fridge magnet. So I I did that myself and it, and it dawned on me, some people might not know how to do this. So I thought I'd stick a quick video together uh, and show you exactly how we do it. Um, well, how I do it, and hopefully, um, you know, someone might learn out there. Um, you might already know about this, but uh, there might be people out there that don't, and hopefully this video is going to help them create something pretty cool. So yeah, let's get to the computer, and I'll show you exactly how I do it. Yeah, so I've gone ahead and downloaded my file uh, from Mad Monkey 3 d on Patreon, and this particular file is very similar, a flat-backed file, um, but does not come with the ability to um, put the, the magnet inside of it. Um, I've seen some people actually create a hole in the back of the thing and glue a magnet into it. But personally, I think this is a cleaner way of doing it. Uh, and it's, um, you know, it's for safety purposes as well it means that you're not going to um, get little ones getting hands on small magnets and stuff. Um, but what we, f what we do first is we um, right click the actual design and we go down to add negative part and we click on disc. It's gonna give, um, it's gonna ask you if you want to switch to per object setting. So obviously we click yes on that. And this is your disc. Now what, what we need to do is we need to first change the scale on the actual disc. Uh, make sure that you uncheck uniform scale. And my particular magnets, I've measured them. And these are the numbers that I use. Um, you might find them different, obviously depending on your particular magnets. But I'm using 18 mil by 18 mil. Um, by 5.5 mil and that gives me a disc size of about that um, and then what it is I do is I move this um, particular disc to where I want it to be on the actual print um, so this one would be around here typically <laughs> Typically the actual design isn't big enough. So I'm gonna to have to change the actual size of my cookie monster quickly. Right, so we're back. I've changed the actual size of my cookie monster now so that the disc itself isn't overlapping any hinges or separations. Um, so yeah, so get hold of, of, of your disc and use your move tool. And I just like to use this for precision really Bring it, bring it into where it is you want your actual magnet to sit, like so. Um, and then um, what I like to do is I like to try and get this uh, as parallel as possible and then use my move uh, Z axis up to the point where it's actually embedded inside the, the, the actual model. Um, but not too far in that the magnet's not going to be powerful enough to hold its weight. Uh, so something along them lines is probably about right. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to slice the model so it embeds the circular disc within the design itself. And then if we use the slider, we can actually see whereabouts it's put, put the actual um, hole. And as you can see right there, it's it, it it's there, um, and you can see the walls as it builds up, and eventually it get gets covered um, at the 5.5 mil. Uh, in my case, but what we also need to do is we need to add a pause within the actual print itself. So if you right click on this point here and click add pause, and then you'll need to slice the file again that will now add a pause so when it gets to that particular layer point or that layer line should i say the um the printer will pause it'll send you a message to say um that it's paused it'll give you time to come down 
uh, and put your magnet with inside the actual print and then you just click resume and it'll continue on um, and eventually you know when it's finished you'll have something that resembles a decent fridge magnet so yeah just a quick video really guys it was just it was just it's something i thought i'd stick together just to show as i was doing it i thought maybe some people might not know how to do that um and uh and this is the kind of thing you're looking at um building these things here they're all fridge magnets they all were not um actually developed to be fridge magnets or should i say designed to be fridge magnets but I thought they look pretty cool. Look pretty cool on someone's fridge or metal. Well, it doesn't have to be a fridge, obviously, but look pretty cool with a magnet in the back of. And these Laboo-Boos themselves are there. So I'm currently going a bit crazy, a bit fridge magnet crazy and looking at designs and thinking, right, how can I turn that into a fridge magnet? Um, and the wife's going to be a bit uh, annoyed, I think, when the fridge is covered in this stuff. But I think they look pretty cool. What do you think? Anyway, guys, I hope this has helped. Uh, if it has, please, please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, giving us a thumbs up. And if you know of anyone out there that might appreciate this or appreciate joining the channel, then please, please share it out there. Thanks very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you all later.